Right guys, uh, it's here. Hi guys, my name is Peter Finch and welcome down to my 2019 What's in the Bag. If you are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that like button as well, and follow me on my other social media platforms, which are all linked in the description below. So a few weeks ago, I went to get a full bag fitting for my tailor-made gear. And so far, it's been pretty good on the course. And we're gonna talk you through exactly what I went for, option-wise, chef-wise, grip-wise, all the rest of it, and then talk you through some of the stuff that I'm not quite happy with just yet. So first up, we've got the putter. Now, I've gone for the Spider X, and to be honest, I've not really tested out that many other tailor-made putters from the new range. I chose this one simply because it looks absolutely awesome behind the ball. Now, one of the reasons why it really looks good, especially to my eye, is it's got this little notch neck here. So it kind of just flows pretty much straight into the club head. Now, when I put that behind the ball, it looks really inviting to me. It looks like the shaft is pretty much in the head. So I'm not a fan of a big long neck. I just like it to sit very close to the club head. And I have to say so far it sits really, really well. The actual head makeup is different than what I have used in the past. So it's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to, but I have to say overall, I'm very pleased with how this has started. Now, the only other thing to discuss about this is the color. So it's a deep blue. So I've been told, although I've been having this conversation with John, he thinks it's gray. I'm a little bit colorblind, so it just looks black to me and it blends into the shaft really, really well. There are some other color options that they have and you can make your own Spider X putter as well, which I think I'll be doing a video on separately. I've kept with the P2 grip as well. So I've been using the P2 grip now for a couple of seasons now and I've changed it slightly. So it's the aware tour style of grip, but yeah, I'm part of the P2 army. So onto the wedges. Now the wedges, if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, was the one thing that I wasn't actually massively keen on switching into. So I've been using the Vokies for the last year and I've really, really enjoyed using them. However, I have to say it's the biggest surprise so far. So I've gone for the high toes and I've gone from in this nice bronze color. And the difference with the high toe wedges is, um, clues in the name, it's got a really high toe. This is the lob wedge though, so 60 degrees, and you can see how the grooves run all the way up to the edge of the face. This is so when you start to open up the club face and when the toe becomes a little bit more active in the shot, you still get the same amount of grab, the same amount of spin. So contrast that to the 54 degree wedge that I've got here, and you can see it's more of that conventional groove pattern, of course, still with that high toe. And as far as my wedge makeup goes, I've got my 60, my 54, and then a 50 degree in the high toe, and then it goes into the pitching wedge of my iron set. And I've got the same shaft as I have within my irons. The only difference is the grip. So I've gone for a very standard tall velvet grip with a wrap of tape underneath. And we'll talk about the difference in the grip with my irons and my woods, in just a moment. So onto my irons, I'm going from pitching wedge all the way up to four in the P760s. So these are a progressive muscle bag and they are one degree flat than standard. And with the shafts, I've gone for a Nippon. Now I've never actually used Nippon shafts before. Now this is the NS Pro, the Modus 3. It's quite a lightweight shaft compared to what I've been using in the past. But during the fitting, this was the one that felt the best and gave the best numbers as well. So shaft fitting is one of those gray areas where if it's about feel and about performance obviously as well, but this gave me better feel and better performance. So it was a bit of a no brainer to actually switch into the shaft. And that is the same shaft that I've got with my irons and with my wedges as well. The difference as far as the grip is concerned is with my irons, I've gone for this Align grip. Now basically it's got a layer of tape underneath, but then it has this ridge on the back where you can see signified by this red, um, thing. Line? Design. Design? What would we call that? Line. Feature. Feature. Arrow. Red line feature arrow on the back. And basically this gives a bit of a reference point for the fingers to wrap around. And apparently it will help keep the club face straight. I like the feel of it. I've not used this type of grip before, so only time will tell if it's any good. For me, I'm sure it's a good grip generally. <laughs> 
So the difference between the irons, so up to the eight iron, there is basically no cavity drilled into the head. So this is just a solid mass of metal. However, from the seven iron up to the four iron, this cavity here, it basically gets progressively bigger as the further up the clubs you go. So for the seven iron, it's only a small cavity. And here with the four, it's quite a big cavity inside. And that's injected with the speed foam. So speed foam, kind of first heard about that with the P790s. This is progressively inlaid into these irons. And with the speed foam, it's apparently going to give more ball speed and all the rest of it. Now, I didn't get kind of too deep into the tech. All I knew is that when I was hitting them, I liked them. The gapping in the distance was good. And that was, um, yeah, that was uh, good enough for me. So this is part of the bag which I'm a little bit conflicted with at this moment in time. So the P790 driving iron, I've been using this for oh, about a year and a half now. And I absolutely love it. Well, loved it. I should say. And I've got this five wood. So the M5, the titanium five wood with the huge weight in the back that you can slide around. I got this really honestly, just because Tiger's got one. But now I've got it, I'm in a little bit of a quandary because they do pretty much exactly the same job. However, in Greece, when I was using the P790, I had a little bit of a nightmare with it. Now it was technical, so it was down to what I was doing with my swing, but sometimes you use certain clubs and it just gets in your head. And when you're over a shot, I don't know, I'm just a little bit twitchy over it with this now. Uh, but the five wood, I've not really used that much on the course yet. So I've been sticking to what I know. So this section of the bag, I'm just a little bit unsure about. I've got the hazardous shaft in the P790, and then I've got the tensile blue in the five wood. And I've also got a tensile blue in my three wood as well. And the three wood is also in the M5. Now I did try the M6s as well, which is more of the fixed head, kind of standard steel head, but the titanium heads, I have to say, they just, just fly. And this three wood is probably gonna be one of my clubs of choice actually off the tee. Now off the fairway, it's still pretty good, but off the tee as a secondary weapon is absolutely unreal. So maybe this is where I, make that choice to get the five wood in. So I use that off the fairway more on par fives. Like I said, I'm still trying to get used to the makeup and still trying to figure out what is going to work best. But the one thing I would say about these M5s, if you are gonna give it a go, the weight in the back of the head, it actually makes quite a massive difference. So sometimes when you're moving weights around in clubs, they might tweak things here and there, but will you see an actual difference? With this, you will. I mean, this head weight is 65 grams. Now, when you put a weight that big into a titanium head, which is super light, which also has that carbon crown, any movements that you make in this, they're gonna make a very big difference. Now, I've shifted this very, very slightly to more of a draw bias. I mean, we're talking this much, but it did make quite a big difference to the numbers during the fitting. So on to the big stick and I've gone for the M6 over the M5. Now, when I went in for the fitting, if I'm being honest, I thought I was gonna walk away with the M5, so it's got the more movable weights. But to be honest, the M6, as far as the numbers go, they were just better overall and with this shaft as well. I've never actually used a Tor AD shaft before, um, but again, I know kind of Tiger used to use this and you know, me being the fanboy that I am. So the M6, it doesn't have any movable weight technology in there. It's got obviously a lot of graphite within the crown, all the rest of it. And it's a pretty light club head. And I do like the way it feels. I think I can throw it into impacts and I know it's gonna come out with a decent amount of ball speed. And it's also gonna be a little bit more forgiving than the M5. That is something else that I did find within the fitting. So it's got the injected twist face and I've not actually used a driver with the twist face before. So I went from the M2 and then I started using the Mizuno driver and then the TS3. So this again is gonna take a little bit of getting used to because especially my tendency is to hit a little bit more towards the toe. And on occasion, I actually bring it back around with a little bit of a, a fake draw, shall we say. Now with the twist face, I don't really have that option. It's gonna keep it much straighter. But my centered strikes with this driver have actually improved. Whether that's just the fitting process that I went through and it was dialed into my swing, I don't know. Maybe it's just new club honeymoon. But I have to say the strikes on this have been pretty good. But all is not yet rosy uh, within the driver camp, it has to be said, because even though the strike is good, even though the distance is pretty good as well, what I am actually finding with this is that as I'm trying to play more of a fade with all my clubs, I'm actually leaving quite a few shots off to the left-hand side. So again, I don't know if this is more psychological, I don't know if I need a little bit more tweaking in the setup, but obviously if I'm striking this driver really well, 
and it's going where I'm kind of aligning my body a little bit off to the left hand side. And that's going to put me in quite a bit of trouble if I am playing courses which are very tight. So I do need to adapt this a little bit further and I do need to test it a little bit further as well. But the fact is, of course, um, it is my swing <laughs> that I'm putting on it. I would love to uh, just put my blame on my clubs, but let's face it, it's the, it's the idiot at the other end. Uh, that's always the problem. So finally, let's talk about the bag and some of the accessories as well. So the tour bag that I've got is the TaylorMade Tour Staff Bag. And I have to say, I have not had a new tour bag in, in absolutely ages. And this is a, a pretty sick one, to be fair. Got my logo and my name on it as well. I'll be using a carry bag mostly. Um, actually, taking this around isn't as easy as it looks, especially if I don't have a full-time caddy. So this will be staying in the bay mostly, and I'll be taking the carry bag around with me. Other things to actually point out, I've got these pretty awesome head covers. Now, these were sent through by PRG, and they've got my logo on, and then they've got my kind of at, what's it called, John? Handle. 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 It's got my handle on. You, you wouldn't think. I do social media stuff, would you? <laughs> so the other one that I got is uh, this one for my alignment sticks. I always think this is a sign of like a really keen practicer when you get like a little head cover for their alignment sticks. It makes me feel good. I gotta be honest, it makes me feel part of the practice crew. The other thing I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna be using the Tor Preferred TaylorMade gloves. They are super thin and they feel really, really nice. They're a lot thinner than the FootJoy gloves that I was using last year. Well, kind of feel a lot thinner anyway. And then onto the balls, TP5X this year. So I'm giving it a change. I've been using the TP5 pretty much on and off for like the last couple of years, also mixed in with this Heightlist AVX. But switching up to the TP5X this year, it feels a bit softer than previous versions. And certainly when I was in Oman, I was noticing some pretty decent reaction on the greens. It, it did feel still maybe slightly firmer than I would like, but overall, I have to say the performance is really good. And that's what I'm trying to let drive my choices this year, you know, just what the performance is doing other than what the feel is doing, you know, sticking to the numbers and really trying to go down into those and trusting them a lot, lot more. And that, guys, is my what's in the bag for 2019. I don't actually think this is going to be liable for much change. It's just figuring out the top end of the bag as far as the two iron and the five wood, and then trying to figure out if this driver is definitely the one for me. Apart from that, the irons, the wedges, and the putter, I don't think that is going to be changing a great deal, unless I try something which is just ridiculously out of this world. But so far, yeah, I'm just super, super happy with what I've got, to be honest. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment below on everything that you've seen in today's video. What do you think about my bag as well? Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video, share it around. Follow me on my other social media platforms, which are all linked in the description below as well. I've got quite a few comps coming up in the next two to three weeks, so I can give these a really good test out in the heat of battle as well. Hopefully my swing holds up and hopefully my club stays shiny. Hopefully my clubs they shine. Uh, that's a bit of a strange ending. But I think I think we'll stick with that. You wanna stick with that, John? Yeah, fine, it's your channel. Hopefully my clubs will stay shiny.